your shoes untied. Never yell across the lab. Only use tools for what they are designed to do. If something does not seem to work properly, do not force it. If a machine is making a weird sound, stop the machine and get help from the instructor. Most accidents occur when someone is rushing or loses respect for the machine. When you are working in the lab, you must clear your head of anything that might be bothering you. Always stand by the machine until it comes to a complete stop. Never use a machine that was unplugged without checking with the instructor to make sure it is okay. Always remove wood chips or sawdust before using a machine because they may interfere with its safe operation. Never distract others when they are using a machine. Prescription glasses must have side shields and be shatter resistant to be used as safety glasses. Long shirt tails must be tucked in. Sandals, hooded sweatshirts, watches, ties, rings, and necklaces must either be removed or properly secured when working in the lab. Long hair must be tied back so it is above the shoulders. Long sleeves must be rolled up to the elbows. Never operate a power tool when tired or ill. Always carry sharp edged and pointed tools turned downward. Always be sure to position your feet in such a way that provides balance before beginning to make a cut. Keep all safety guards in position unless given specific permission by the instructor. Be sure the tool is switched to the off position before plugging in the cord. Foam brushes and rags with stain or finish on them must be put in the flammable disposal can. It is possible for stain soaked rags to spontaneously combust. <laughs> flammable materials are to be kept in the cabinet labeled flammable storage. Never mix different chemicals, including stains and finish, without permission. When staining or finishing, always turn on the ventilation blower. Keep the door closed to keep out dust. When using the chisel, always cut in a direction away from your body. When using the air hose, it is important to never put it close to your skin. If you press the air hose against your skin, it is possible for an air bubble to enter your bloodstream, causing death. Never point the air hose at another student. Horseplay or messing around is never allowed in the lab.